Hi guys, so in this DART tutorial, we are going to learn how to get list of dates between two given range. For example, I want to get list of dates from Feb 1 to Feb 20. So today is 20. So I want to get all the dates that comes between this date range. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to program it in DART and how we can get the list of dates of them. So let's get started. So here I have just opened a DART compiler, an online tool that is dartpad.dev where I can write my DART code. So let's write the code to generate the list of dates from a given range. So here I will just remove this default code and start writing my code. So first of all, I need two variables that is starting date and ending date. So let's create that by making use of date time object. Okay, date time. So start date, I can just name it. Okay, so I'm just creating an object of type date and there is no need to enter the new keyword over here because that will automatically do that for you. Okay, sorry. So this is date time. Okay, so the same thing I will do for end date. And here I just need to define the starting date and ending date. For example, I want date is uh, from, as I said, uh, that is 1st Feb 2024. So here I just need to give 2024, the month and the date, something like this. And you are for the ending date that is 20 Feb 2024, 2024 month and date. Okay. So in between this date range, I want to get all the list. Okay. So what I can do, I can just create a function over here that will just generate me the date for me. So here I will just create a list function, list of type date time. Okay. Get date list. Okay. And this will accept two parameters that is this two. Okay. So date, time, start date, date time, end date. So I want to just create a loop from this date to this date. Okay. So for this, I will just create a for function over here. For int i is equal to 0, i is less than equal to end date dot difference start date. And from this, I want to just take the date. So in days. So what is the difference between this? this date okay so this function will run for that much time okay and every time i want to increment i by one i plus two so after doing this here inside this for loop i want to add all the dates in a variable or a list so i will just create a list over here list date time and i will just name this as days and i will just keep it empty okay and on all it each iteration I want to just add that date in this date variable that is this list of array okay so days dot add start date dot add duration days of i okay so this will just add that particular date in this array okay so let me print this array and show you after iterating what we get the result so I can just make use of print statement over here so now I want to just call this function okay and here I just need to return something in return I can just return days okay okay else it will give me an error okay and I'll just call this function just for now and I just need to pass these two parameters one is start date and one is end date so now if I run this program I will get all the dates in a given period so you can see I am getting these dates Okay, so this is one date, this is second, uh, up to 20 that I have defined. So you can see it is in array format. So with this, I also get 00, 0 as a time. Okay, as I'm just adding days from this. Start days dot add duration days I'm adding. So it is getting added only days, but it is appending time also. Okay, so we can just edit it. Okay, so let's do that afterwards. So now, here once this return the day I can just make use of it or I can just store it in some variable okay so here what I can do I can just store it in a list of type date again and here I can give it as date list okay so whatever this function returns will be stored in this variable okay so now instead of printing this over here I can just make use of it and print it over here okay so now let's check what happens so I will get the same result okay so i want to just reiterate this uh, array and i can just filter it and remove this uh, time from this 
okay so for this what i can make use of is i can make use of for each loop okay to iterate this list okay list does for each and then here i will just take each data from this for example it will, i will just iterate through each element from this array okay. so each element will be picked and will be assigned to this variable and passed to this function so now i want to just filter it so i can just print it on the screen so print days date day okay. i can just name it as day it's better print date dot to string dot to string and i want to just fit here somewhere over here you can see it is zero i, I can ma just make use of that and i can just fit okay so here dot fit in empty space of zero okay and i will just yeah i will just keep it okay and i can just print something over here so i can just give a space now if i run so you can see this is the date and this is the filtered date okay yeah okay so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you